Framing is the way in which something is presented. This is the same as wording. The phrase, aid to the needy, gets a better response than welfare, and certainly a better response than giving a handout. Surveys easily illustrate framing. If a medical treatment has a 10% chance of killing a person, it's perceived as being a poor remedy. If it has a 90% success rate, it's perceived as being effective. Perception differs due to the framing. To make it personal, use numbers like 1 out of 100. To downplay something, use something less personal, like 1%. Our language strongly influences the way we think. This is called linguistic determinism, established by Benjamin Lee Whorf. This is most apparent in very different languages, like English and Japanese. Bilingual people reveal typical Western or Eastern traits when describing themselves in those languages. For example, Hopi Indians languages have no verbs in the past tense. They struggle thinking about the past. A Brazilian tribe has no numbers above two. They struggle replicating a pile of seven nuts. Words influence how we perceive colors. What we call it influences how we see it. It's hard to think about abstract ideas, respect, or freedom without language. It might even be impossible without language. Books are made of words, and words are language. We need language to understand what's in books, like our psychology textbook. But when you're first born, you don't know what words are or who your mother or father, well, you do know who your mother or father is, but you don't know what they sound like or what they're even saying. This all ha happens in developmental stages. First is receptive language, which moves from simplicity to complexity. Children discriminate sounds and read lips, like those of their mother and father, based on facial features when speaking. They can guess at what sounds are being made and who they're being made from. Productive language is the ability to produce words matures after receptive language. Speech occurs in stages. In the one word stage, a child only speaks about one word. In the two word stage, at the age of two, mostly two word statements are used. Some famous psychologists involved with the development of language are B.F. Skinner and Noam Chomsky. B.F. Skinner thought that we could explain language development with similar learning principles such as association, limitation, and reinforcement. Chomsky believed in a universal grammar. All human languages, therefore, have the same grammatical building blocks. We start by using nouns. Language consists of spoken, written, and signed words. Language appears to be so close to thinking that it may be the same thing. Phonemes are basic sounds. Even though the English language has 26 letters, we have around 40 phonemes. In some cases, a phoneme is a morpheme, like I or cat. It, is also, it can also be a prefix or a suffix. Usually, Morphemes are made up of two or more phonemes. Grammar is a system of rules for language. Semantics, semantics is made of the rules that give us meaning for morphemes, words, and sentences. The focus here is on the meaning of the words. Syntax is made of the rules we use to assemble sentences. The focus here is on how we assemble the words. For example, an English syntax rule is the adjective to become comes before the noun, white house. Spanish reverses it, Casablanca. Semantics and syntax interplay with each other and can alter each other. The way the words are assembled affects the meaning. You gotta talk to him. Brandon, talk to the cat. Please. No. He's been recording the whole time. Come on. No. Just talk to him. I don't wanna. Clearly, we're not speaking the same language here. Mostly nerp. <laughs> 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 Keep going. <laughs>